Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube. I'm Jen. Today I'm going to do a couple little tags for you. Um, these are tags that I created for a Christmas swap, um, Christmas tag swap. So I'm just cutting the tag shape using some packaging and then I'm just rounding the corners using my crocodile. Um, I decided that I wanted to use these super cute uh, printables um, by Lemon Creations. Um, I got the gnome and trees from one printable and the sentiments from another and then I also got this flourish flourish I believe that's what it's called I'll link everything below um, I got the printable versions because I didn't have enough time to get them delivered um, she is all the way um, in France and I'm in the US so I wanted to get these for this cute little project um, and downloadable printables were the way to do it. So I'm just going to play around with this. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, um, but I know I wanted to make three tags because I was swapping two of them. And I always, every time I do a swap, I always love them and wish I had saved one for myself. So I decided to do three, um, but I wanted them to be a little bit different. So here I'm just stamping my paper um, with one of the stamps that I did buy from her um, Lemon Creations website quite a while, or not quite a while ago, a little while ago, um, that I was able to get delivered before she made the Christmas printables. So a little bit of stamping adds some interest to the background. And then I'm also going to add some washi just because this is the script washi and I really like, um, how it looks on these tags. And of course, I'm going to do the same for all three. And here I'm just playing around trying to figure out where I want everything to go, how it looks best. I cut out a bunch of these little options, but I really like these three little gnomes the best. Um, and then this washi tape has this um, silver stars that I thought looked really good with this tree. So now I'm going to try to find some flowers to go with all of them. Um, I thought about mixing and matching, doing um, multiple colors on each one, but then I went, was able to find, the, I believe, three flowers of each um, color that I really liked, um, and it just kind of felt best to keep them together. Um, the tags are very different, um, but also a little similar, so I really like that. Okay, so here I wanted to add some distressing. So all of the edges of the tag got the Tim Holtz, um, I think it's vintage photo. I use it on just about everything. Um, distress ink and I just brushed it on with a stencil brush. And then I will add a little bit of um, aging, <laughs> distressing to uh, the words when I put the white words on as well and now I'm just gonna roughen up the edge a little bit um, so it's it's not a perfect edge um, it's more of just a nice 
yeah, nice little soft edge, <laughs> a roughed up edge, um, so to speak. And then I'm going to put it all together with some gel medium. So now I decided I wanted to add some snowballs. So I have these small styrofoam balls <laughs> um, that I used for snow actually last year and I had some left over. I did get them at the Dollar Tree um, and the Dollar Store here um, in the States. And I just wanted to make it look like it was snowing a little bit more than what my normal white splatters would do. So I'm gonna add a bunch of little snowflakes um, and then I add some mica flakes as well. They're Tim Holtz mica flakes. Um, just because I wanted a little more sparkle to the snow. There we go, just added a little bit to the words just to make it pop a little bit more and not be so bright white or blend a little bit more and not be so bright white on the page. I think it looks gorgeous. And I'm going to, of course, add some splatters. This is Dr. P.H. Martin's um, No Bleed White. I just like how vibrant it is compared to like white, white gouache or white um, acrylic and it works on any medium so if I was happen to be putting it on top of a watercolor it doesn't bleed. Um, so I'm going to do the exact same process for the other two tags, it won't take nearly as long. So sit back, relax and enjoy, oh I do add trees on these ones but enjoy. I had a hard time deciding which one I liked the best. So let me know in the comment box below which was your favorite. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day.